Hello, welcome. Back at it again in sweet transit, trying to figure out how to make trains go around in a circle the right way. Uh, last time we added a whole bunch of stuff up here. Uh, tried to kind of demessify a lot of this uh, interior stuff, probably unsuccessfully, and unlocked a few more things, but now we have to venture down to this side of the map and go do something about these clay deposits. And there's all this other space over here we haven't gotten to yet, but I think this is going to be the big thing today. Got to figure out how to get all of these clay deposits linked up together. I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to just see if I can get more than two of them attached to one distribution center. That always seems to be kind of a problem. I mean, the game's not really very clear about how this stuff functions. So it turns into a little bit of a uh, little bit of an exercise in futility sometimes. Uh, at any rate, I believe if all of these are in range, I don't think I can get these four. I can get these four. I can easily get those four in range. I don't know. Kind of wish it had a little bit more to uh, tell us about this stuff. Just finished watching The Last Diorama. I feel like I need to watch it twice once to watch the gameplay and once to watch chat. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to keep up with them. They get very uh, creative, <laughs> I guess we could say. So I want to see, I don't know if it's going to let me do this, but I want to see if I can get away with having four of these at once uh, based off of clay pits. Okay, well, they take 40 laborers a piece, so maybe, maybe they're not going to let me. Maybe not. Oh, okay, I have to have cut stone to build another one of these? All right. Turbo mode it is. Just gotta wait. There we go. All right, let's hook them up with a distribution center. Stick right there. Uh, somebody said, oh, we've got stone roads now, huh? Okay, so these both do the same thing, huh? All right. Oh, plus 150%. All right. That's interesting. So if I'm able to actually connect all these, that would be something else. Now, do I think I can actually get away with it? I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. All right, and then I need this guy also. I guess we also need to have more cut stone become a thing. Do we even have the regular stone to keep up with that? I don't know. But at any rate, our clay pit's going to have to have clay storage. Yep, so that's four of those. This guy's going to need the same. This guy's going to need the same so those actually touch. That works out. All right. So now I've got, theoretically... Four of these that can hold 160 workers. Will it work? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. So we've got our coal storage. Got a track here. And then this is going to probably need to loop back around. I think if we have this set up in an efficient way, we're not going to need to worry about making eight different platforms and just kind of all go around in a loop. But we do have to have this connect into our main uh, main thing right here. And I think it has to go to the warehouse. Um, looks like bricks. Yeah, the warehouse can only take bricks. So where did I... Okay. Uh, there's another building to make bricks. And I think... Oh yeah, there's so much... Uh, <laughs> so much other stuff. Our raw materials, I don't think, can uh, exist at the same station as the brickworks. Yep, because that's going to require clay and coal. And it's going to need craftsmen. That's a pain. So we're <laughs> going to have to have this separate town. And all of the fun that comes with that. Okay, and that requires cut stone. I don't think we're going to be making too many stone bridges in this game. 
We can have a wooden bridge. We can have two of those. One way in, one way out. Uh, if we're going clockwise, then this would be coming in this way. And I guess I could either put a track here, or I could put a track here, and then have another station platform in between. I'm not sure if the game's actually going to let me let me do this the way I think I want to. But let's try if I can do... Oh, okay. cool. That works. So we'll just have this set up like so. Three tracks. Two platforms. And then I believe Yeah, we'll just do that. Not it's really not gonna let me do this, huh? Alright. Uh there we go. It's just one of those weird things. I don't know that we really need to have a bypass for this. But we'll leave uh leave space, eh, Josh? Never asked if you were actually okay with me calling you that, but you haven't protested, so I assume it's fine. Um, okay, that's not going to fit there. What a mess I've created for myself here. So this has to come up this way, it looks like. Yep. I think... I think I probably ought to come in straight like this. There we go. All right, so that's inbound. This is outbound. Probably should have a town somewhere down here also. If we're smart, if we're smart, we put it up here. Can I actually get away with this? That'd be cool. Uh, where are my villages? This is just a station. Town hall, yep, uh-huh. Blah, blah, blah. I guess if I were to do... Oh, I need cut stone. Yep. Always happens. Always happens. But if we just have the passenger train going... Neat, 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 in this tiny loop, that might actually work. If it doesn't work, then, uh, well, that's going to suck. <laughs> but if it does, that's fine. Alright, let me build this, damn it. Give me my cut stone. Does that sound annoying yet? It's really not going to give me any, is it? Uh, upkeep is 110. Production is zero. Why is that? Do we have our quarries? I haven't tried... I haven't tried to connect these guys with a road quite yet. Give me... As I have to actually click on the road... And if I have if I have this go in, oh, it's not even gonna let me build that, huh? Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. So now that's connected three. That's uh, good to know that I wasn't completely insane when I was trying to hook all these things up together. All right. Well, now I've uh, now I've got some questions here. If these can all actually be uh, serviced correctly by these trains coming in, then I guess that solves a lot of our issues. And I can't believe I was that dumb to not realize this earlier. All right. Well, I kind of can. All right, Corey there. And then let's put another one, I guess, right here. All right. So then I'll just do one of these numbers. Now it's connected to four. Is it really that simple? And I'm just dense. All right, so this guy's got to go back to the train depot so we can put another uh, car on him. It's going to be quite the journey to go all the way around the entire map just to get back in there. There we go. All right, so you get the other passenger train wagon, and you go back into service. All right, 
so that should really help out our, our stone production now that I figured out I could do that garbage. All right, so if that's the case, I need a village hall. I guess stick this maybe right about here. The colony. Found a second settlement in the colony. All right. Um, Bishkek, huh? Kek. I feel like a meme lord. All right. A small station attached directly to the town. I guess we could put it one, one thing off. Put a platform all the way across here. Not that we're really going to need it. And then I'm going to give these guys a bypass track. I guess I should come at it this way. Oh, made a mistake. Get that one out of here. No, that can come this way. Bypass all the way straight past the town. If they don't have to stop there. Oh, that might actually cause me some problems because I <laughs> because of how I have this set up. Uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, station here is going to get its own uh, coal storage. I guess we could probably just kind of leave that as it is. Okay, so these people need fish, potatoes, clothes, and bread, or they can have those things. All right, that's going to be an interesting problem to solve. We'll see what happens, I suppose. Just loop that back around. I uh, should be able to fit our market right here in the middle if I can find it. Remember where all these things go. Cotton farm? No, no. Where's the market? Where's the market? That's a sawmill. Am I just insane? Like, what's what's up with this? Come on. A small storage. Water tower. I know I have a market somewhere I have to build. Where is this thing? Hi, JC. New subscriber. Like Sweet Transit. Loved your first three live streams. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Uh, did you show up in one of the uh, previous live streams? I seemed to, like I remember your name before, but appreciate you being here to watch my uh, my struggles <laughs> in this game. <laughs> it's fun, though. So i got to figure out why I can't... So now I have small storage. I've got uh, fishing docks. Where is my market? Is there not a search thing for this? There really should be. Uh, logistics. Maybe it's just not here because I haven't done it. Ah, aha. I don't have 50 laborers. That's why it hasn't shown up yet. Seen some of the Vaz first time live. Well, glad you could be here. Appreciate you stopping by. All right, now I can build a market. There we go. And that's what was going to go right there. Right, this is kind of a weird place, so I guess we'll put a water tower there. Kind of this go up that way. Two residences. Uh, let's get some fishing going here. Is this one of those things that generates undesirability? I actually don't remember. Well, let's find out anyway. Small storage there for the fishing dock. There we go. We'll run our uh, pathway up through here. I didn't really do myself any favors <laughs> having this set up like that, did I? Definitely didn't. Let's um, let's move our storage. Uh, where's the stoneworks? Small storage. Oh, I wish there was a way to squeeze this in here. I, I guess that's not going to work. Well, we can put some decoration here anyway. That'll be fine. Um, small parks. Nope, that's too big. Foliage. Props. Do these all have the same attractiveness? Yeah, they definitely do. Well, here, have some trees. <laughs> I guess we'll put a uh, water tower there since we can. All right, those guys are definitely going to need some storage. So let's uh, stick that there. At least now they have fish. Timberborn fan too. Yeah, that's the fun one. Seems to be the, the most popular one on the channel at least. All right, let's uh, rename this. So uh, how much uh, Sweet Transit have you played? Because I might have some uh, questions to ask you. I guess I could name this station so it doesn't get confused. Oh, can't spell. There we go. All right, let's call this one... Clear. 
clay pits. That's going to be important. All right. So now these can uh, both go here. Going to need these to uh, go somewhere else. First, I got to figure out where am I allowed to place uh, from the clay pits? Where am I allowed to place the uh, brickworks? Because it's going to require a craftsman, which makes me believe that I'm not going to be able to do that down here in this little outpost town. Might have, ugh, might have to put that up here. Kingstown. Because that's going to require, yep, coal and clay, which we will eventually have uh, in spades, I believe. So if I have a brickworks... Ah, uh, 300 cut stone. Okay, that's going to take a while to get. So maybe we just kind of won't worry about that for right now. Just get these get these things operating. We do have to connect it up to the main uh, the main thing here. And I'm trying to think, should I go ahead and put in four of these bridges? I guess there's no real reason not to, just because it costs wood and I have tons of wood. So if I have four of these, I could have two inbound, two outbound. Might as well. Why not completely, ridiculously overbuild <laughs> for, for no real reason? I guess I could have this connect through here. There we go. Just let them decide which way they want to go. With the help of chain signals. Gasp. Got almost 120 hours. Nice. So you are definitely way more versed in the game than I am. That's for sure. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a uh, middle of the platform signal there. Those are all facing the correct way. All right. Chain signal away. Everyone's favorite type of signal. All right. That's working well there. And halfway down or thereabouts right here. All right, so now we have inbound. Uh, we'll need outbound. I might as well just go ahead and... Uh, I sure hope I can make these go completely straight for no other reason than just really, really wanting completely straight rails. Oh, boy, that's hideous. All right, let's go. Four-track this whole thing. Now, is there going to be an obstacle that's going to stop me from doing this? Doesn't seem like it. All right, so that's one way in, one way out. We're probably going to need to have space down here for some other stuff, so I will have this come all the way here. And then coming out of this side, we're going to have to merge these all together here. So we'll let that guy come in like so. Let this guy come in like that. Continue this out. All right, and there's our single track. Uh, I might give them a way to come in with a double track exit here. There we go. Just to connect these up. Yeah, I probably am uh, just creating a future rat's nest over here, but what can I What can I do? Train fix for the week. Yep, uh, get ready to get mad. Because <laughs> I can promise you, I can promise you we're going to have some... Uh, problems with this one but I digress we're gonna be uh hopefully oh that can't connect there all right nope already already making the dumb mistakes all right no 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 this goes in this goes into the other side that was the problem because that has to go in here <laughs> oh man that would have been that would have been a fun one to try to figure out. Hey, why is this not working? Oh, well, that's because you were stupid. All right. Um, so that that is the correct direction for the trains to be going. <laughs> oh, you're funny. All right. This guy gets a chain signal here to determine which way he's going to go. All right, I'll give them another block here. And for right now, this is the only thing that's going to actually connect here. 
but I made a mistake when I uh, <laughs> when I set this up because I thought, you know, it would be nice to just have a train to go from here to here and back again. And then I didn't put a platform on this side. <laughs> all right, all right, let's um, uh, I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. Let's let's put a platform on this side, just <laughs> just so I can have this inner loop go off. All right, so that's gonna need. That's going to need a... Nope, wrong way. Come on. There we go. Right like so. Give him a signal. And another signal there. Just so that can loop all the way back around. Put in some stairs. Everybody's favorite right at the end of the road. For no reason. Doesn't really matter like that, but... No, no, looks kind of cool. Alright, so now this can go back and forth the entire way. Uh, we got to connect all of this. All of this. And this, honestly, should be more than two tracks, I think, is uh, what we're going to end up doing here. So let's... Um... No, 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 not 467. I want individual pieces. Thank you for not doing that. I want to go ahead and... Uh, keep that as a bypass, then have this as its own uh, kind of frontage track kind of deal. Let's do capacity upgrades before we even get to the part where that is possible to be a problem. All right, so this outer one, I guess, can come in like... Nope, not like that. I always have a problem figuring out the uh, the curves here. That can come in like so. That's going to be an issue. That's going to be an issue. Unless. All right, so that's a complete disaster, but but it does split into four different parts. Can't really uh, split it any other way. But I do think it's important to have this already built out as a four tracker before we actually need it. Because uh, that would probably end up causing a lot of issues if we didn't have the capacity on this uh, back end for it. All right, so that can come in that way. I did it again. I gotta leave another block of space here. Did you do what Gomez Adams used to do with it? Oh man, I haven't watched Adams Family in so long. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. I'm gonna have to uh, go back and look at that. All right, so that's hooked up. So now, oh, now I got to figure this garbage out. So this is going to have to be only the outside. Only the outside uh, tracks are going to want to uh, have anything to do with this. So if I come in, if I came in like that, I could probably also come in like that. And then also like that for the inbound. And then outbound like that, then have that guy go over to there. So that might work, maybe. So I have that separated, have this separated. Um, I guess that's probably going to have to be its own signal, as much as I dislike the idea of having all those completely separated. All right, so now we have in we have out. That's going to need to be its own set of signals here. Probably want one. Oh, make sure I didn't put these backwards up here. No, we're still good. Whenever you're doing something that comes all the way back somewhere else, you can't see the rest of the network, then that ends up inviting some, some problems. I think we'll be all right, though. Because these don't really have any reason to cross over right now. Um, that's set up so they can go to either track with chain signals. That's good. Probably should have more than one more than one track over here. But for now, all we need to do is just get this hooked up to this part of the network anyway. And coming out of the warehouse, they're going to have to go... Oh, man, all the way around. Warehouse is going to have to go... Is that even going to work? Come over this way, come over this way, go all the way around here. Or no, they could just go this way onto that side. I really need a bypass. 
really need a bypass to be able to get to this uh, this section right here. I need to have a what? What is a what is a branch review? Hey Joe, welcome back to Train Land, where we're uh, we're certainly trying. <laughs> we're 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 doing our best. Coal mine. I think this. Um, I don't think we need more coal, but we're gonna want more coal, especially because of how this is kind of a disaster set up here. So I don't have any. Uh, did I? Is this coal storage? I think so. Well, regardless, we need to get these routes going here. Uh, train depot. There we go. All right, let's call this uh, Bishkek Clay Workers. Destination 1, Bishkek Station. Destination 2, Clay Pits. Time passed. Time passed. All right, new. Um, I'm going to try four cars on this, see if that works. And it's probably going to run out of coal before it even gets here because, of course, that's how that works. So we're going to have to get another coal supply train coming in here, but if you take a look at how this is all set up, uh, Warehouse has... Ooh, not really that much coal in there at all. Are we running out of coal? We are. So we don't have... We don't have another coal mine over here. Can I can I make one? Quarry, sawmill, coal mine. There we go. Put this guy here. This is in range of the station, right? It's not going to let me. Uh, not going to let me do that, is it? All right. Well, we'll hook it up to the distribution center anyway. So now there's three. So we should, in theory, if this holds forty, we're going to have to add another car to the. Uh, Worker supply. That's this train. Oh, we can upgrade the engine while we're there. Send to the train depot. Follow. As long as that's what this is actually... No, this is going to the potato farm. Ah. Oh, well, we can still upgrade the uh, locomotive anyway. Might as well, since he's already here. Sell. So, yeah, we need to... We need to find the one that brings the dudes here and then take that one back. All right, are you coal mines? Yes. All right, to the train depot you go. Oh, I still had guys on it. Oh, well. They can take a trip. They'll survive. All right. So that gets sold. This goes up. I guess I could have just had these swapped, honestly. So that works there. This guy is going to get sold. All right, so now we should have enough dudes coming in here eventually. As long as they can all, you know, get to work. Or maybe that is a function of the, uh, the station not being able to take so many at one time. Nope, that's full, that's full, and that's full. Okay. Cool, looking good. Maybe coal production will increase, and if that's the case, I'm not going to have to make another one. No, we're down to zero coal. Okay, well, this is going to get interesting. Oh, bridge review. Now, nah, that's that's RCE's thing. <laughs> Devilish, I'm not reading that. Frog train? Uh, we could make a green one named Frogs. Some, frog something. The game is fun. It's just not, um, not very easy. All right, so these guys are out of out of fuel because <laughs> there's no coal coming down here. So I think what's going to have to happen... Ooh, you know what we could do? Uh, where's my coal mine stuff? I've got this one here and that one there are kind of out of uh, reach of each other. But, but we have technology. We have the uh, ability to do a small station... This is already kind of a bypass, so I think it's just one one of these guys, if I have it in the range of both. Distribution center. So if I just have the road come up to it. 
So if that reaches, come up here, put our platform in place. Like so. Coal storage makes sense. And then have this. Ah, not a bridge. Get out of here. Regular old tracks. Then ha have that go in that way. Signalize. Doesn't need to be a chain signal. All right, so that's going to get coal coming in this way. And then all we have to do is just make ourselves a uh, a little bridge going all the way across here. There we go. And then we can have a little turnaround track. Because that's going to be completely, uh, completely good looking, right? <laughs> just have that come all the way around here. So they can, uh, they can loop back around if they have to. All right, so that's going to be its own thing with its own... Nope, wrong way. Hold on. Its own signals. All right, so now we can have a train come from the coal station here, drop some off, drop some off, come back and reload. And that can just be what it does all day. So we're going to call this one. It's going to be... Uh, let's call it Bishkek Coal. So we don't uh, forget. That's going to need... Nope, Route 33. We'll call this... Coal Workers. Uh, that'll be Bishkek Station up to the coal. Time passed. Time passed. And then we need to make another one that is going to be... Bishkek Coal Supply. Starting at the coal, going to the station, going to the clay pits, and that's going to be unload, unload, time passed, time passed. So I'm not going to be worried about having the um, uh, the percentage unloads because uh, it's it's just not going to be a problem. So we'll, we'll leave that alone. Uh, where's my train dialogue? There we go. So workers, uh, going to give them two of these. Coal workers, and then the next one gonna have to be coal supply gondolas, I guess. We just have this be a super long train, doesn't necessarily have to be, but uh, no reason not to. So we just have to wait for those guys to come out of the uh, depot here. Because this guy should not ever have to come up to the uh, other side of the map. Disturbing lack of peanut roundabouts. What? All right. So anytime, all right. Anytime we have Kurt and Devilish in the same chat, it's it's gonna just go nuts. <laughs> that's what this is, isn't it? I think that's what we've arrived at. All right. So here comes this guy, going to get his coal. Loaded up nothing because nothing was actually there. Coming in here to drop off nothing. And then to drop off more nothing here at the clay pits and then going right back around. We could just follow the train. Probably would make sense. And he's got to go all the way around the backside. Moving at 10 kilometers per hour. Oh, that is punishingly slow. <laughs> all the way around. Going to pick up the coal that still doesn't exist. This guy needs a, uh, a coal train name. We'll, we'll default to John, unless somebody... Is this John Coltrane 4? All right, I don't, I don't need this guy anymore. Uh, where is... All right, so here come the workers, theoretically. No workers. So I guess they hadn't uh, made it back to the town yet? All right, so what's up? No dudes on the train. You going to pick anybody up? No dudes. Why did you not pick up any dudes? So what's the deal? Uh. Oh, now they want to go between stations? Oh, uh, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I want to know why nobody's on this train to come work in the coal mines. 
because we need them. So right now we've got a uh, a significant problem here. So why why are none of these laborers wanting to actually get on the train? Okay, and this guy is carrying. Uh... Oh no, they're here. They're just not. Oh, we don't have <laughs> duh. We don't have enough people. That's probably what the problem is. Am I going to be able to get away with this? Uh, I'll probably just have that set up like so. Then I think I can just put in yeah, a couple water towers. Easy. Fir trees. Easy. So now we have enough population, hopefully. And what are these not able to keep up with? What are they, uh, what are they consuming? The clay pits. I feel like they shouldn't be uh, consuming much of anything. Why not name it Coal Robbies? All right, all right, all right, you got me there. Is that how you spell that? I think so. Saw an IG post claiming the streamers were doing speed runs to. <laughs> you almost got me. Yeah, I, I've seen uh, I've seen people talking about that. I got a couple friends that are playing that. They're like, you should play the game. Like, I, I don't have time. I literally don't. I promise you I don't have time to play that game. I still don't have anybody over here. What is the deal? Unless I just really don't have enough people. Okay, why is that going... Why is that going down the middle section? That shouldn't be shouldn't be doing that. This guy should be stopping here. It looks like he might. There we go. Okay, there they go. Now they're finally here. I'm not behind. It just takes forever to read through chat. That's that's what the problem is. Are we out of uh, out of dudes again? I'm absolutely not playing that on YouTube stream. There's no way. <laughs> it's not happening. I really not have enough wood for this. Are we gonna go through this wood garbage again? Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a huge pain. That's gonna be a huge pain. Clay deposit. I don't think I'm ever gonna have anything there. Yeah, I might not have enough people. Yep, that's that's the problem. All right, so I've got to. Uh, I gotta figure out exactly what I'm gonna be doing here because I think we have enough fish. Yeah, we definitely do, but we don't have any bread, and we don't have any uh, any clothes or anything. So maybe, maybe we have to make a train that will carry all of these different things like clothing. We have so much clothing. We can take clothing, and we can take. Um... Oh, we're not making enough bread. What's our consumption? Oh, okay, yep. Uh, do we have wheat? We really don't have enough wheat either. But now that I know I'm just dumb with my wheat farms, not enough upkeep. What what does this even take for upkeep? I wish this game had documentation. Um, where? Brickworks, potato farm, cotton farm, wheat farm. Upkeep is wood. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, God. Wood and cut stone. All right. So sawmill number two still has tons of wood. So I guess our problem still is we cannot get enough wood out of here, which is um, annoying, I guess. So do I have any trains that just go sawmill two to Kingstown one? I think I have to. I think I have to have one that does that. Uh, sawmill two. Supply. Oh, that goes to the... Why is it going to the warehouse? Um, or is it supposed to? I guess it is. All right. Well, never mind. I don't know. This game kind of breaks my brain sometimes. <laughs> I need to build more people storage. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right. We'll, we'll build some people storage. <laughs> oh, you're having too much fun with this. All right. Somebody's got to live right next to the train tracks. I guess it's going to be these guys. <laughs> 
All right. No water. Boo-hoo. They want a marketplace, huh? There is a market. You know a lot about traffic in the U.S.? Oh, do I? Uh, do you think the reason it's called a U-turn is because it looks like... What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> oh, man. Beds are just shelves for unconsciousness. How high are you right now? <laughs> that, is, that is pretty funny, though. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. All right, I need, I need more, more dudes. They don't have water here. All right, where's my, uh, is that even going to work up here? Nope, they can't reach it. All right. Not worth uh, uprooting that entire house. I guess uh, what I can do is just stick that guy there. Yeah, I might have uh, I might have made a mistake having this uh, having this set up the way I do. But we'll we'll see what happens. At least it's not saying we're out of people. As long as these are all though they're not even staffed at all. Okay, what's uh, what's up with that? Because this is supposed to go here, and back here, and back here, and back here. Is this not long enough of a uh, a train trip? I don't know. Is this... Uh, nope, now they're not working here. Well, I mean, there's plenty of coal, so I guess I can't be that mad about it. So now the question becomes, do I dare allow people to go between stations? Is that is that even going to be uh, worthwhile? It would have to be Kingstown 2. Tons of laborers available here. The rest of the city is self-sufficient. Uh, no, because we haven't had stuff going between yet. That's the next thing I was going to figure out. We have to bring in bread and clothing. And potatoes, but they don't. We don't have enough production of any of those things over here. To do that. And I was going to try and make another sawmill station somewhere, but we just really did not do our <laughs> do ourselves any favors here. We just can't move enough product is the problem. Because this potato is supposed to go in between. Um, Oh, this is a this is a rat's nest in here. It's a mess. I should probably have this connect here, honestly, to get into the other loop. Would probably make sense. Right now, this can only go into this loop. So if I had that set up, I wonder if that would actually be an improvement in getting around. It probably would. The solution probably is more trains, yes. I just want to see. Yep, okay, the passenger train goes that way, as it probably should. Should make it a little bit more efficient. Yeah, the problem here is these these trains just can't... They can't take enough wood out. We're making too much wood. <laughs> what a mess. So we have four of these things. That is just making entirely too much wood. And I don't think I can even have a... Uh, I can't even build a bridge over this. It's going to have to be somewhere else. Well, I could add more trains, except it's already completely clogged. And the sawmills have to actually go to the warehouse, and not the town like I thought they did. So that's actually... Uh, 
just causing additional strife. But if we had Sawmill 3, Sawmill 3 go over to the warehouse, which would just have to go, I think, all the way, ah, that's go all the way around. So what do I have? I was looking at this at some point, and then I got distracted. Sawmill 3 supply. Load. Okay, it's trying to go to the town. You can't put wood in the town. Kingstown 2. So that's what I... I wish this game had documentation. My god, this is so frustrating. Oh, that is it's absolutely infuriating. Um Sawmill. I don't have a sawmill three overflow. That's that was the problem. I think that's what I wanted. I need to. Yeah, there we go. Sawmill three overflow. Load and unload. Alright. New train. Where's my uh God, where is this thing? Oh, there it is. Okay, and the wood, uh, I guess, just comes out. Already cut? Yeah. That can go on. Sawmill 3 overflow. So we'll see if that helps our cause at all. This guy has taken that route, um, but why? Okay, this is this is kind of a disaster here, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I need to have a bypass. Oh, there's a signal here, idiot. Why did I do this? Why did I do that to myself? Do I have enough cut stone for this? Probably not. There we go. I'm going to make a bypass to go all the way past all of this garbage. Oh, but it's not going to be able to interface with the warehouse unless I... Oh, what a... Okay, this is a mistake. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do... Yep, I'm going to have to put an another warehouse track here. All right. Okay, so then that can go into... I don't want that. I want this to go into the outside. Yeah, because that has to go back to that side there. Unless I can get this to merge. No, there's uh, something in the way. Oh, get out. Wrong way. Come on. All right. So if I do that, that's its own thing. That's its own thing. This probably should become a chain signal. There we go. So now there's a bypass. And then Warehouse needs another platform, because why not? Why not have another platform, right? So I guess we'll just have that go that way. There we go. Now they can stop on all tracks. So you're not really going to need a bypass. Hopefully that increases the amount of traffic they can go through. Add four sawmills, delete two sawmills. I don't think that's how that works. They got a Discord. I Man, I'm in so many Discords. I can't even keep up with ones I'm already in. Do the overflow trains need to be so long? Yes, because they have to be able to get wood. There's so much wood. They're still completely full of wood. We need, and If anything, we need more trains. I should have made them longer in the first place. Ah, see, now this is backing up. These guys don't have any, uh... Oh, they don't have any way to escape anything. Okay. So this needs... <laughs> this needs to be a, uh... <laughs> okay. Needs to be a pass-through signal here. We just have too many trains. And that's a whole bypass that nobody's using. Maybe this needs to be a chain signal. No, oh, it already is. Alright. So why will they not... Why will they not do that? Or maybe this just has to also have a... Uh, a way through. Yeah, this... This is a rat's nest. That's what this is. 
absolute, absolute rat's nest. And still nobody's going to use this outer loop, are they? Well, at least they can kind of divert if they have to. I actually can only have one warehouse ever. The way the, the way the game's set up. I haven't played Cyberpunk 2077 since December 2020. I don't think. Haven't even opened the game. It got like less than halfway through. Solutions always more trains. Well, we're uh, we're trying. I still have yet to see anyone take this little cross over here. Maybe they just don't want to. Maybe that's the whole thing. Now, the thing I don't understand is why they won't just go to the other... Uh... Oh, because that's not a chain signal. And these can't actually differentiate between anything, can they? Doesn't seem like it. Because this guy should be taking this signal if this one's occupied. One would think. So maybe I just need to get rid of this signal. No, because that has to be actually separated. Hold on. Oh, I need to get rid of this one. So that way, this guy is going to automatically divert. There we go. There we go. That should help things somewhat considerably. Why is it labeled warehouse one? That's the station. The, this is just the warehouse. This is the only thing you can only have one at a time. So it still has 250 bricks, but I don't have any... Uh... Like, this is full of clay. I just can't make the bricks because the bricks can only be made by artisans. Apparently. Or craftsmen, whatever. Um, so that's going to have to be in this town, which is what I was attempting to figure out. I get distracted very, very easily. Um, Brickworks. Now, is that going to have to be something that... Uh, uh, I need 300 cut stone. Yep, that's what that's what started this. I didn't have enough cut stone, so I started to add more quarries. But that turns out I actually uh, needed way more than that. Yeah, I, I don't have 300 cut stone. That's the whole problem. So is that because we don't have enough... Um... Oh, no, we have tons. We have tons of cut stone. So why do I not have... If I have it in stock, why why is it like this? So I guess I need to make more... Oh, this is a nightmare. What is this? That is that a stone works? I can't keep up with what all this stuff is. Wheat farm, no, 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 no. Sawmill, iron mine. Where in the world... Where is my stone works? Why can I not find this thing? My god, give me a manual for this game already. I need something to read can't just fumble around in the dark all day. Clothing shop. There, okay, there it is. That's stoneworks. That's what I needed. But where is it on the thing? I have a quarry. House of... Oh, is it way up here? Oh, that's... This is bad game design. Uh, stoneworks. There we go. So one more of these guys. Is that actually going to help anything? You can't export wood to towns. They just consume it from the warehouse. That's how the game decides to uh, operate this stuff. All right, I need another. Are these houses here? Are they going to complain about stuff again? Probably. Um, where's... Oh, I lost it again. Um, there we go. Oh, that's small storage, all right. This is very, very quickly getting needlessly complicated. Um, or maybe that's because I have too many, uh, too many dudes. Hmm. 
And I bet you our production still isn't fast enough. No, no, it just keeps going down. It kind of kind of surges back and forth a little bit. Uh, where's my storage? That's a market. Uh, I, I wish this was organized better to different sections. Uh, so I don't even know what I've built. I've got, got too much stuff going on. How did they get it from the warehouse? It just magically teleports. The game never really explains it. I don't have enough dudes working here. Well, now I do. But there's not enough upkeep. But I can't just look here to see what the upkeep is. i got to go to the toolbar. So it's stone. It's cut stone and wood. That's the the whole theme here is we don't have enough. We never have enough wood, except we're making so much wood we literally can't do anything with it. It just clogs everything. And like the warehouse is so full of wood, but at the same time it's lacking wood. So I don't really understand it. I, I don't know what to do about all this. Unless all the trains coming in here don't have long enough time to unload, that might actually be it. All right, unloading. We'll watch our time pass here. In theory, it should have enough time to unload. Yeah, it's got the time to unload. That's not the problem. It's just, it uses wood so fast, stands no chance. No, there's only one warehouse for the whole the whole map. It has infinite reach, it just teleports the supplies. So now it's out of gas, coal, whatever. Okay, we don't have enough coal, but we do have enough coal. But now there's nobody... Why is there nobody working here? What's up with that? I think we have... Um, we've run into some sort of a supply problem for coal. Involving the workers. My god, what is happening here? Um, hello? Why, why, are you, why are you like this? This guy is stuck because this guy is stuck because this guy is stuck because this guy is stuck. Because he wants to go here, but he can't because somebody's here. But that's a chain signal, so it should just let him go here, but he doesn't want to go here. So he's stuck here because 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 he's stuck here. Now we're back again. This is unbelievable. All right. Is it time to cheese? I think it's time to cheese. We'll just cheese this whole loop here. In a desperate attempt to un unclog all of this garbage. Which ends up actually rendering our chain signals completely uh, useless, but... Whatever, I'm tired of these people being clogged up. Now, is that actually going to unclog anything? The world may never know. Wow, that actually solved all of the problems. I hate I hate that this is the solution to this. That's so dumb. That is just absolutely ridiculous that that's what, <laughs> what solves this problem. Oh, come on, man. All right, well, at least the coal mine's working again. Uh, potatoes per minute. See, that's going to be the problem. Is all of this potato farms? Uh, Got to find these things again. Requires wood. All of our problems is because we don't have enough wood, but we have too much wood. We just can't move it. <laughs> we can't move it everywhere. Oh, this game's going to kill me. All right, so this is a bypass coming from here. More trains should be using this. They really should. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. Sawmill 3 should, should be going this way. Around the warehouse and then back in. 
should be. And I think it's going to be able to do that. So if we take a look here. Yeah, see, this is still completely full. We just need yet another, yet another overflow. We'll call this overflow two. Because that's just ridiculous. All right. All right, there you go. Even more unloading of sawmills. Let's see if that helps anything at all. I did do tutorials. I stopped at the roundabout because that had absolutely no purpose behind any of this. Look, we st it still can't keep up with the output of the sawmills, I swear. Yes, the ones we cheesed. Because the game requires you to cheese. I just cannot believe how much wood this is actually requiring. Sawmill 4. Yep, completely full. Well, at least this one is kind of directly in the path of the... Uh, of the warehouse. But this, this really just needs another loop to come back around this way. Because now this wants to come like this... But I can't go over this. I have to go across it. If I'm going to do that. And have this come in this way. See, what we're doing here is called bad choices. Because this, this now has to connect here. Um, I, need, I need this. I really don't want to have sawmill going. I guess I could just go straight through. Probably not the worst thing ever. Currently, they have to go out this way. But if I did, if I did this, come through here. Oh, this is a disaster zone right here. But if that works, then why not? Just have that go straight through here, and then this just has to connect to that. So then I think what that's going to do is sawmill four can go straight through to the warehouse and then back this way and then back to itself. So if we had a, uh, we had another route here, where am I sawmill four? Sawmill four supply. Okay. It goes to the warehouse to unload, but it's not, it's not doing it the way that I want it to train 27. Why are you coming up here? There is no reason for that. You really should not be going that way at all. Okay, so now let's go in that way. Yep. Okay, now it's going the right way. That's what I wanted to see. Unload. It didn't completely unload. Why? It really should not be going the entire way around. It should be taking this diversion track. See, now it should. There it goes. I don't know why it wasn't doing that before. It should be unloading completely. I guess it just doesn't have... Like, well, what's up with this? Like, every other, every, every other time it goes, it goes the wrong way. Oh, it's full. Okay. Well, I guess that, uh... Guess that solves that problem. Um, can I even add additional storage to this? It doesn't seem like it wants me to be able to uh, attach anything else to this. Because I don't have enough cut stone, huh? I guess we're just going to keep this whole thing going. All right, give me more cut stone. I can see that wood per minute number going up now that we've kind of unclogged things. And then it crashed again, of course. Yeah, this is definitely because we don't have enough... Uh, 
but I don't have enough stoneworks doing all this stuff. Come on, give me some. There we go. All right, so now this can store substantially more wood. So that's good. Now our problem is the cut stone, which we don't have any way to uh, move around. So right now the cut stone is just kind of chilling in Kingstown here. But it has a balance of negative 83, but there's over 1,600 in stock. Okay, there we go. It shouldn't be exporting, because where's it going to go? Is it just going to send it back down here to the warehouse? Maybe that's the problem, is we just don't have enough uh, Don't have enough going. I don't even know how I have any of this working here. Uh, what do I even have that's carrying cut stone? I swear. Okay, that's just... That's workers. Uh, let's call this... Quarry one workers. That ought to help that delineate things a little bit better. Quarry two workers. I just got lazy, didn't name these things. So we really don't have a train to take to take anything, do we? Quarry two is Loading and unloading, but it doesn't go to the warehouse. So how does it end up? How does this stuff end up at the warehouse then? That's what I want to know, because it's not being dropped off. That's for sure. So maybe it just automatically overflows. I don't really, uh, don't really understand that. Well, at least we have wood now. So hopefully our potato farm can stop complaining about not having wood. Uh, the farming, uh, Kingstown should have potatoes, should have plenty of them. It still doesn't. All right, so now we, oh God, now, uh, now we have to look at potatoes. All right, so that's loading until done, unloading until done. Or I guess I could put time passed in case it gets stuck. So that's this train, train six, taking potatoes. Okay. No surprises there. Coming to get more potatoes. I think. Why is it taking this path? Oh, I swear the pathfinding in this game is terrible. There's no reason for that. So what we need now is we need a path from Potato Farm 1 down here to this... Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's going to be a nightmare. Uh, okay, that's that actually doesn't um, that actually doesn't make sense. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Uh, that can go here, can go here, can go here, but can't go over to here unless I have. Okay, here this is where we're gonna get stupid. This is where we're gonna get stupid because yeah, let's have a. <laughs> Oh no, we're going to make so many mistakes here. Okay. So this <laughs> Oh, I oh, this is bad. This is bad news. This is going to have to this is going to have to come all the way over here to get on this other side. But I didn't set the <laughs> no. I didn't set this up in a way to make this uh actually possible unless I were to Remove those signals. Or I guess I could just place them um, place them one more. Nope, that's the wrong way. One more tile up, and that could have a second bridge. Let's do that. I did it again. My God. All right. Give me this. In and out. Good job. So that can go away, which means now I can put a bridge. Beautiful. And that can come all the way. No, don't. Please do not. Do not attach. Do not attach to this. Uh, I think. I think. I just have to have this come in. Nope, wrong way. Just have to have this come in like so. All right. And then this just has to connect here. 
All right, so now that'll allow us to go from the potato farm through any manner of what in the world is this. Um, looks like, yep, this way, this way, this way across here, all the way across here, all the way down to this station. And then it can just rejoin the regular loop and go back the way it came. I think. Except for that to happen, it's got to go through here, which means this needs to have an out to come to... The, oh, jeez. You ever wonder why people go insane playing these kinds of games? Well, if you if you ever were curious, I think now we know. I think now we know why. This, this is... This is some... Uh, some real galaxy brain stuff right here. Okay, so now that has to be... That has to be a chain signal. Because I don't have room for another signal to attach to this. Alright, so that's connected. I think this is now... Fine, let me just put in couple more of these uh, signals here. That works. That shouldn't need to go into the other bypass track. Nope, no need. All right, so hopefully I didn't completely screw anything up here. Because I think that's going to allow us to have another potato... Supply train. All right, this guy. This guy. Train six. Oh, he could actually get upgraded. He's only got the ST-10. Yeah, so let's send him to the train depot. And we'll upgrade him. And then we'll clone him. There we go. All right, so he's going to get the new engine. Take that one away. Goodbye. This we could save as a preset... Oh, is it not going to um, let me name the thing? Okay, well. All right, um, add a new train. Aha! <laughs> oh, I don't have a route yet. Hold on. All right, Potato Farm 1, Kingstown 1. That's going to be Kingstown not 1. It's going to be Bishkek. There we go. Load or unload. Very good. Alright, so that's fine. I guess we can now just kind of examine... Uh, Will Wheaton. Uh, we can examine uh, Dwayne Johnson. He needs an upgrade. The rock train. Trains drive people insane. Yeah, probably. Alright. Alright. Off you go, on you go. Alright, so I guess we're just going to be examining every train that goes by here to see if we can upgrade. Quarry Dude Train. Yeah, there you go. Um, Let's bring that back in. We just got to go all the way around. Alright, so now this one actually has to be completely rebuilt. Because that... Quarry one workers is what that went to. Okay. And uh, this needs to get renamed. Once it comes out. There you go. Quarry one dude train. All is well. Alright, are you upgraded? Yes. Are you upgraded? Yes. Are you upgraded? I think so. Are you upgraded? Yes. Are you upgraded? Yes. Are you upgraded? John Coltrane 1 is not upgraded. It has the ST-10. So guess what that means, Mr. Coltrane? Can I not? There we go. Send to the depot. All the way around. How do I clip JC saying we while looking at the train? I mean, I, I actually don't know how the whole clip thing on YouTube works. Hopefully this is still named. Yes. Good. All right. Are you upgraded? Dwayne Johnson. Yep, we just did you. You're upgraded. You're upgraded. I can tell. 
I guess we'll just have to kind of gradually check all of these. I think these are all upgraded. The ones that I'm seeing at least. Ah, oh, that one's not. Train 14. What are, where are you? What are you even? Train 14. Ah, you're carrying wood. You vote for not cloning Dwayne Johnson? All right, we won't clone him then. All right, so that's fixed. What are you? Okay. So I guess now we just kind of have to take a look at these different trains and see if they're upgraded or not. Okay, we've literally just, uh, just upgraded that. All right, so we should see sometime soon uh, our potatoes come in. That's coal. That should be potatoes. Yeah, we got potatoes. Now we just need bread. That was going to be something to do with our wheat farm. Now we don't have any... Uh, we don't have enough workers for the quarries? Why? Why is that? I guess that'll be fixed at some point. Uh, wheat farm. What are you consuming that you don't have? Oh, here we go again. I gotta look up all this. Cotton farm. Wheat farm. You need wood and you need cut stone. It's got to be the cut stone. So we're making plenty of wheat. Is this just an issue of we don't have enough uh, processing to make bread? Enough bakeries? That's probably what it is. Ah, uh, we don't have cut stone to make bakeries. There you go. All right, come on. Let me build another one of these things. So that's going to need uh, stoneworks. We already have stoneworks is the problem. That should probably be a storage right here. All right, so I already got four out of five. I guess that's fine to go here. We still aren't making enough. I can't believe it. Well, we have enough raw stone. We really should not be, should not be an issue. Unless we have to have a train just for cut stone going to the warehouse. I think we might might need one. All right, new train. Destination. Destination 1. Say Kingstown 2. Destination 2. Warehouse station. Not swap workers. Load. Cut stone. Unload. We'll call this cut stone to warehouse, not where gauss. All right, and then we need a train. Cut stone goes on the flat wagons. We'll make that a short train. All right, let's try that. I suspect, yeah, our coal mine is starting to become a problem here. Okay, we got guys waiting here. We got guys waiting here. We shouldn't be out of... There we go. 300 cut stone per minute. Achievement unlocked. But now everybody's out of coal. Why is that? Because so nobody's working on the coal mine. So where's all my dudes working on the coal mine? Okay, you got four guys. So why why do we only have eight people working here? That really doesn't make any sense. Unless we are actually out of workers, which would be astounding. Oh, they have to okay, they got to rest. I always wow, look at how awful this noise pollution is here. 
or whatever that is. I always forget they need to rest. That's very annoying. <laughs> oh, what a pain. Uh, water tower. That actually reaches? All right. So we'll just have this connect there. And then I think what we'll have to do is put in a couple of parks here to get them to uh, forget about being mad. There we go. So maybe I should have paid attention to this other other thing a little bit before. So we actually have a deficit of rested workers, it seems. If I am uh, interpreting this correctly. Gotta go see you next time. Thanks for being here, Kurt. Appreciate you. Have a good rest of your evening. Need to name all the trains Jimmy Buffett. If we have one that goes to the beach, we'll name it Jimmy Buffett. So I think our population's gradually catching up. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We still only have eight guys working here. Why? It really does not make sense. Yeah, warehouse is out of coal. But this isn't out of coal. It's just out of dudes. So if I had a... Oh, man. So now I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to have way too much, way too much in the realm of, uh, did I have this turned around backwards? Nope, they're coming around this way. Maybe I'm just out of my mind. You know, he died of skin cancer. Yeah, but that the beach was his thing. That's not like a slight about that. That's like his whole like life mission was that kind of a. That kind of a uh, positive attitude kind of music for people. How are we doing on... Okay, yeah, so that number has to be positive. That's the problem. But why is this not filling up then? Is it just because there's no work to do? I guess I have to have a coal... Oh, I'm going to have to have a coal train coming out of here to go into... Oh, this mess. All right. So now I've got to uh now I gotta have uh I gotta have this come over this way. Oh come on, really? There we go. Now if I have this come out, there we go. I guess we could just live with this. Uh, uh, that can go that way. So now I have a mechanism to have a coal train come from here to the warehouse. All right. So let's make another new route. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bishkek coal over to the warehouse. Load or unload? All right. And then we need a train. This can just be a, uh, a short one. So now this guy is going to have to have a, uh, he's going to have to have another coal name, coal overflow or whatever. Uh, what's another coal pun? David Hasselhoff has nothing to do with coal. <laughs> Let's just say, uh. Coal overflow. John C <laughs> John Coulter. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> you, you win that one. That's really funny. So you should see all that extra coal go away. There it goes. Which I guess, judging by our capacity here, we probably could put another car or two on the train. Yeah, let's um, let's send him back to the uh, train depot, and extend. 
That's not a bad little trip, though. Except to get back to the train depot, it's got to go all the way around. All right. All right, let's follow him around, see what happens. All right, load it up. Back he goes. Unload. Oh, that makes him go all the way through here? Why? He shouldn't be going through all this. That's not a very good route. I don't know if it does if it does that route again, then that's gonna be good. That that's fine. I just don't know why it sent it into the town the other time. Okay, so I guess it matters what what track it's on. I th I guess that's the problem. It's not really a good way to skip any of that. Alright, so I've got a couple ideas to fix that. We need a cut through track to go this way. So that could be from uh, this route. Oh, nope, wrong way. Yeah, that can go right through here. Easy. Except that's definitely not the uh, the right thing to connect that to. So let's um, let's fix that real quick. All right, and I gotta fix the. Uh... There we go. That's what I wanted this whole time is for, for them to take these uh these little uh outgoing things here. Oh, look at look at the mess this is. That that's a disaster, but hey, that's fine. Cause this is only one. Yeah, that's only one way coming out of here. Because I can't cross here either. Well, once we have more coal going into the uh, warehouse, it should get better. The coal supply just can't keep up. I, for the life of me, cannot figure out why. We're having so many problems with this. I guess we just don't have enough dudes. Never going to have enough dudes. How do I still not have enough wood? Or is that because I don't have enough money? Oh, it's the coins cost. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, no. We, have, we might have too many trains. That might be, might be what's going on. Because we have to keep uh, paying upkeep on all those. But if we have a train that goes between the two between the two towns, just as like a little tourist train, maybe maybe that'll make us some money. Forty routes. Wow. All right, Kingstown two. Where's Bishkek? Not swap workers. Swap travelers. Time passed. Time passed. Then I guess that just goes eternally, huh? All right, well, so if we did that, get out of here. If we did that, okay. Ah, I don't have enough money. Yep, there it is. We, <laughs> we are lacking, we are lacking the funds. All right, so I guess we have to, uh, we have to decrease the size of some trains that are uh, a little too long. That might be our problem. How can we, uh, how can we lower our cost? Just get more money. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Problem solved. We just need... Uh, we just need another way to uh, make some money. 
I guess I wish I had a way to see if trains were uh, under capacity. But I don't know that that's really a thing. Okay, this train is almost certainly too long. So let's send it to the train depot. And we'll sell a couple of the train cars. Because we definitely don't need to have that kind of capacity. Alright, so this... Uh, sell those. What is the upkeep on one of these? Oh, it's only 10 coins? Alright, well that's not really uh, inspiring confidence in me here. I'm sure there's upkeep per tracks. Yeah, no, it's only build cost, okay. Is there upkeep cost on any of the infrastructure at all, or is it just build? Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, station upkeep cost, yep. Upkeep, upkeep on that. Village hall. Really is not... Town hall's a lot more. So I think our issue is we just don't have enough... Don't have enough constant income to uh, take care of all that. So that's going to be hard when I have to build more houses, but can't. All right, so we have too much production, I think, is what this is trying to tell us here. Okay, fish. What's what's the upkeep on this one building? Is it even going to tell us? I guess I just have to look it up. 50 coins. See, like, look at, look at this deficit. Look how huge this is. That's just nutso. I don't know. I literally don't know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this. I guess I could take away some of these uh, parks that are expensive. Let's say I uh, cut your city services first. That's always gonna go well. Uh, what other kind of garbage can I get myself into here? Yeah, that hasn't really. Uh, Hasn't really helped that much. And our root problem still is we don't have enough rested workers. So we have too many workers working too many jobs at one time. All right. Um, how do I... Can I pause these individual buildings? Or am I just out of my mind? I don't think I can pause them. Oh, no, I definitely can. I can I can turn off some of these sawmills. That might actually help. That might actually help us out here a little bit. Should help us get our worker supply numbers back up at least. one would think. I don't know that that's actually helped at all. Is there anything else I can turn off? Oh, this whole quarry station is not even operating. All right, uh, let's pause two of those. Because obviously we can't even keep up with that. The problem seemed like it was more logistics anyway. Got to let our workers catch up. But this number just keeps getting worse. I don't, un I don't understand how this happens.
really does not make any sense. Not a lick of sense. Because you would think if you had so many workers that you just cut off of a job that they would, you know, be able to go home and rest. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm just busted by this. Why? Why is it like this? All because the coal mine isn't fully staffed. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's going on here. Okay, now it's fully staffed, so what's the deal with that? The population of the town is decreasing. Why? Because it shouldn't be. Ugh. We still aren't making any bricks. Did I even finish building this thing? So that's a small storage. Stoneworks. Small storage. Did I not build brickworks? I just, I begging, begging the developers of this game to make a UI that makes sense. My god. Um, clothing shop. Small storage, clothing shop, stoneworks. Why do I have so many stoneworks? It's trying to build brickworks. And why is that in a different spot? Okay. Oh, I don't even have enough coins to build it. That's why. All right. Um, if I pause some of these stoneworks, is that going to help our deficit at all? Probably not. It's going to help our worker situation at all. God, this has not changed at all. That's really irritating. Have you considered a restart? Uh, if I restart this, I'm not playing this game again. <laughs> That's just too much. Dude, see, I, see, I fundamentally want to do point-to-point -point routes, but I know that's not the most efficient way to do it because then you, you don't have interconnectivity and all that other stuff. The problem, the problem with this game is it. Oh God, it doesn't. It doesn't tell you what you're gonna have to do in the future, so you just have to throw stuff at the wall. Like I didn't even know I was going to be able to do other things, until it tells me, "Hey, you, now you have to do this," and the place that you have to do it at is in some random spot you didn't even know existed before. See, I like the game. The problem is I like the game, but it frustrates me. <laughs> and I don't know. There might not even be anything wrong with the game. I might just be stupid. But it just is... Mm. I don't think the people that made the game and I speak the same language. I'm not talking about like written or spoken language. I'm talking about logic language. See, I, I don't even need these guys. I don't even need to have this uh, thing at all over here if I can't make anything with the bricks. Yeah, I just, I've gotten myself in this enormous hole for wealth, and I don't understand how that even happened. Because so I get money coming in from laborers and services, but what services? The, it needs to explain that. The commercial cost, I don't even know. Like, what is the commercial number coming in? Is, is that something that I could fix? If I have trains going between cities, like what, what is what is the deal with this? And if I look at, if I look at routes, like do I have extra? Do I have an extra passenger train I can reroute somewhere to do something else? I don't think I do. What what is what is uh, that? Doesn't even need to just get out of here. Um, so I just kind of. I don't understand why it works the way it does. Blueprints I probably should be using. What is that? Not enough workers. Yeah, I know. Um, geez. Let's see, I have all this other stuff upgraded. Um, oh, I haven't even looked at this. Oh, man, all this mess. 
uh, warehouse storage, settlement storage, production facility storage, build range, build range, build range, don't care about build range, um, population limit. I see, I just, hmm. I don't know. I think I've reached the point where this game where I, I can't do anything else because I just don't understand fundamentally how the game works. Which is a shame because this is actually fun when it's not frustrating. <laughs> I, just don't, I just don't know what any of this is. And see, now the, the wealth balance just shifts so randomly. It's like you can't plan on anything. Because, like, the people move in, people move out, but the, the upkeep cost is always the same. So, like, what, what is the deal with that? And here I have, I've almost made $100 million, and I, st I still don't have any idea what's happening. So now they don't have enough wheat to make bread. Is that what the problem is? Because I've got a, um, I think this town has, no, they just have potatoes. They don't have, uh. Yeah, there probably is a pattern. That's the problem is this is such a new and, like, not hugely popular game. There's not really any resources for it. I just, I don't, I don't know why the population fluctuates so much because that just murders my income. And services, like, what, what, when it says services, what is that? Like, is that making things and selling them to the population? Are we exporting through some sort of unseen export mechanism? Like, I just, I just don't know. And there's, there's no help. <laughs> there, there's no manual or anything for this. It's like, all right, figure it out. Have fun. Which sometimes is nice, but other times it's just not. So I don't know. It's probably not very entertaining watching me do this. So we, we might be done here in a minute. Um, I just, man, I just don't even know. I thought I was going to have enough cut stone going around. But maybe not. Ugh. So that's the problem is I got all these other games I need to play. But now, <laughs> but now, now I got myself doing three different Timberborn series. And I haven't done Ostrov in two weeks. I need to do that. Uh, what else? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there's just there's so much going on like this is this is just a rat's nest right here it seems like the pathfinding this trains try to use is just really not good I still can't make bricks because I don't have money and I can't even make more houses to support more people but I don't even think the houses are full like, most of the houses, as far as I can tell... Okay, every single one I've clicked on has been completely full. So maybe I do just need more dudes. Because it seems to be... It seems to be the problem, except every house I build costs money that I don't have. It takes a thousand coins to build a house. So I can do that one at that point. So do I just have to camp here and keep building houses until I have enough dudes? Is is like is that how this works? That just seems like it's not a not a reliable strategy. Right, come on, give me a thousand. Give me a thousand eleven hundred. Why is it increasing? Oh, because there's trees I have to demolish. Alright. See, I would like to do some new games, but at the same time, I don't want to waste people's time by playing a game I don't understand. Because I feel like that's one of the one of the most disrespectful things you can do to somebody is waste their time. Because you know we only get so much. So I, I feel like if I if I'm going to be live streaming or making a video about something, it should either be something I'm pretty confident I'm going to be able to figure out really quickly, or it should be something I'm already very familiar with. The whole point of a game is to waste time. Well, that, that's not how I view it. <laughs> it's, it's not wasting time to me. That's like an actual application of uh, logic and reasoning skills and getting some sort of enjoyment. Like, I love trains. That's why I'm playing this game, because I really like trains. And like, if I didn't like trains, I wouldn't play it. Period, point blank. I just, I've got these things. So now I have fewer people than I did. 
even though I built more houses. So I just, nah. Some somewhere somehow, in the last twenty thirty minutes, I just broke this. Oh, now they're mad. Oh, cry about it. Move somewhere else. <laughs> I had to take the park out because we couldn't afford it. All right. All right. Give me another house. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, now it's going to be super negative again. I, I just need this to be positive long enough to recover these, uh, these deficits here. They're rioting over the removed park. You know, wouldn't surprise me, honestly. They're upsetty spaghetti about it. That's, that's what the problem is. So it's like people keep moving out. Every, every time I close something down, they move out, and now nobody's working in the coal mine. But I can't prioritize. Well, I can't say nobody. But I wish I could prioritize jobs, right? Because this is like the, this is like the most important job that we can have because it supplies you know stuff the trains need to run on. But I can't. <laughs> Ugh. And this is sending uh, sending coal elsewhere. But I can't make that train longer because I don't have the money to buy other coal cars for it. Ugh. I think this game is going to break me. And now they're complaining about wood. Why? Because the production fluctuates. I mean, that's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. There's only four people living out of 18, but that was 25 earlier, so what's the deal? 24 out of 20. So why does the... Oh, because they don't have all their needs fulfilled. All right. Potatoes are a problem. Like, the solution here is we need more trains, but we don't have a... We don't have a mechanism to have more trains. So this guy has to go around... We just created a mess, is what we did. Alright. Another house. Another house, another house. Alright, that's four more houses now. Is that going to increase our population enough? To where we can actually have dudes resting... And staying... Look, the, the rested number hasn't changed. I don't understand. It does not make sense. Like, every single house I build, it's like it does nothing. Even if there's, I don't know, three or four hundred people fewer than there were 45 minutes ago. It's like, it's just, it's just gotten worse. And then there's people not, not even working at the potato farm. Not regularly, at least. So what, what is the deal with this? Oh, I can't build signals because those, <laughs> those cost money. All right. Mm, I just don't know. It just does not seem like this is going well. So maybe maybe we do just have to do something else. See, now, now we're making money. But then it just turns right back around for no reason. And just... It's like the amount of money coming in from laborers just constantly is in flux. Like, why are these people moving in? Why are they moving out? Why not just stay here? There's tons of work. Like, nobody, nobody's going to be out of a job because we don't, we don't have enough dudes in the first place. If I had the extra money, I could have people go between the towns, but can't I have plenty of guys in here I have enough to uh, cycle all this many times over so they can work a job they don't need to work because we can't do anything with the stuff they produce but I can't take a train out of service a passenger train out of service to go do something else. unless unless I just take the passenger train here 
since we don't need to be making any any bricks, I can just have this go do something else. Send to the transfer to the train depot. Uh, not for 15,000 coins, it doesn't. Uh, send that back, and I guess we'll reassign that to, uh, to a, a tourism loop. See if that helps anything. If that doesn't, if that doesn't solve it, I I might be out of uh, might be, might be out of patience for this today. All right. All right, we're gonna f we're gonna follow this around, and see if this actually solves any problems here. Oh, now I've got money. What where'd all this money come from? So that's that's what I don't understand. Like, the commercial hasn't increased, but the laborer's wealth got another 50% boost. So how, do, how, does that, how does that work? And now our population's... Uh, I don't understand this game. I really don't. <laughs> There's no reason this should work. But it did. That's well, probably because it took all those extra workers from Bishkek and moved them over to uh, Kingstown. It's almost certainly exactly what it was. But now I have money again, so I... <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, what a mess this... What a mess this game is. So now they don't have jobs. Not enough work. Okay. Because the clay pits are closed. Because we can't do anything with those. All right, and now I got more people over here for some reason. And now I got oh, this. I, I, I got questions, man. Really and truly do not understand. All right, they have water. I guess they do. Okay, how's my markets looking? I wish it would tell me where the individual markets were. That'd be nice. So I move this here. Connect with these guys. Oh, that should help a little bit. All right. So now I've got, I've got resting and I've got rested. So that seems to be uh, some sort of a, uh, a help there. All right. So we got the long train going between the towns. This is doing uh, what now? Coal workers, okay. So now, okay, now this is out of coal. Is there actually coal stored here? I guess there should be. Are these fully staffed? Seems like they are. All right. So we might have solved... Uh, now I can build an iron mine. All right, this... They're going to put me in the ground with this. Uh, where... Why could, uh, the selection for this is not, not good. All right, give me the uh, small parks. There we go. We can stop crying about ugly houses now. So now I can actually have an iron mine. Mm, what do I even do with that? Smelter. Uh, craftsman. They want craftsmen. I was going to build a brickworks. That was... This whole thing, the whole thing I was trying to get into was to make a brickworks. All right, what else? What else did I turn off that I probably shouldn't have turned off? Quarries, turn those back on. And then we have to turn the clay pits back on, of course. But if the clay has to go to brickworks, unless I could just have that in the same, no, it has to be a separate station. See, that's uh, that's the problem with with all of this. I can't build it within range of something else. It's got to be its own station. My God, this is gonna kill me. Um, I guess. Oh, I don't even have the materials to build it anyway. Maybe that's what the problem was. 
So maybe I won't know until I have all the materials where I can even put this. Hmm. I don't even know if we're... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get to that today. There's no way. Not enough. What do you mean there's not enough work? There's tons of work. Let's get on the train and go somewhere else. Did I shut this off? No. Is our population down again? No, it's up to 4,500. Sheesh. I feel like it shouldn't have to be that high. Should be plenty of jobs. Yeah. So I guess I have to... Uh, I gotta get everything else figured out before I put in another uh, another thing like a brickwork so I'm not gonna have enough cut stone. Which I don't understand why that's not a thing either because we have tons of it here. So it really should not be... Really should not be a problem because I got so much of this stuff. And it's sending it over to the warehouse... Yeah, this is kind of a pain. I want you to point out when the elves and beavers born next episode. I probably, if I see it, I will. There's no guarantee that it will be. It's, it is randomized. So it's going to depend on if the game uh, pulls that name up or not. But I will uh, try to keep an eye out for it. Where? Do I even have... Is this cut stone? No, that's just regular stone. Do I even have something taking from the town into the warehouse? Cut stone to warehouse, I sure do. Where? What train is this? Train 36. It only has three. So why... Uh, okay, now it's, now it's loaded. Gonna unload at the warehouse. Why does it stop at three? All right, so I think we need to um, we need to expand this train. Doesn't have enough capacity. All right, flat wagons. All right, so I guess we can let that do its thing. See if that helps at all. So I can get that up, and maybe I can see if this will uh, let me build one of these guys on the same station. That would be nice. Somehow I don't think it's going to let me do it, though. I just need the cut stone to go up. And I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, it was almost, almost up to 300. Come on, man. <laughs> we have to call the train back in again. I cannot add more trains. It's already so crowded. Just going to sit here mashing this this whole time. Is that what this is? It only wants to get up to... Ah! Now, now it doesn't let me because I don't have enough wood. Oh, this never ends. Alright. Now I have enough. I'm going to pause. Alright, it lets me build it. It doesn't seem like it wants to connect to this. Ah, uh, but what is it? Okay, so the brickworks requires a kiln and a drying yard. I don't know that it's going to let me do this here. That might actually have to be a separate station. I think it. I think it does. Okay. 
Hmm. Is that going to be worth putting over here? All right, where is this? Oh, I feel like that's that's going to cause so many problems if I do it that way. Uh, what if... Because this has a turnaround here and a turnaround here. If I had this just come in maybe right around here or so. Right there. Okay, how many kilns can I build? Just one? Oh. Oh, I have to have cut stone for all this. All right. Drying yards. How many of these? Hmm. This is, this is going to be my joker moment right here with all this stuff. I need wood and I need cut stone to make a drying yard. All right, where's my, where's my stuff? All right, there's four of those. So the brickworks has to have, according to drying yard and a kiln. All right, so if I have this now become its own thing here. Put a distribution center behind it, which requires wood. All right, and then station platforms. Oh, I should have built one more. Uh, maybe not. Because I guess that center one can be a bypass, too. All right. So that's a thing. Turn that into a thing. Give it a... There. Coal storage. Coal storage. So that means that has to get added to the coal supply route. All right, no big deal. Uh, station 17. City 17, huh? Uh, Brickworks. Let's just call it that. All right, so needs a road. Oh, really? I have to have a road for this? And it has to be a stone road. Okay, this is, this is how, this is how they're going to get me here. This is exactly how they're they're gonna get me with this. All right. Okay, it has a it has a road connecting it. What's the deal? Does it have to be connected to this? Okay, that's exactly what the problem was. All right. So now let's um, clay workers gonna need a train. Let's copy that instead of that. It's gonna be. Brickworks swap workers. Uh, how many? This is going to have forty, but I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any craftsmen. I wonder if that just means it's going to be slower. Well, let's uh, let's find out. Let's see what happens here. Where is my Bishkek coal supply? Add a uh, brickworks. time passed. I guess unload. This is now going to have to be empty cargo. Yeah, at 0%. Oh, we're going to have to change all of these now because there's multiple destinations. Uh, empty cargo. And same here. And now this gets to be 66% Thirty-three percent and zero percent. There we go. So now the coal supply can supply the coal. I can have a worker supply here, and then we need to have another route that goes from the clay pits to the brickworks. Load, unload. And then the bricks have to go. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be. Uh... It's going to be something here that's going to have to go all the way around. I guess I could just just sail through these. It doesn't really matter. Brickworks, brickworks. This probably could stand to have another, uh, another couple of signals here. 
right, and then we need one from the brickworks to the where's the warehouse? There we go. All right, now we got to make some trains. All right, so that's going to be uh, bricks. I guess we could just have this go from the uh, brickworks to the warehouse. That works. Then we're going to have to have something to take clay from the clay pits to the brickworks. And we're going to have to have... I'll just go ahead and make this uh, hold 120 dudes. Actually, more than that. Clay workers. I think that's what it needed anyway. Then that needs to be... Uh, brickworks workers. I think that should cover everything once this mess of trains comes in here. So they should be unloaded. Yep, there they go. And this one should be unloading. Maybe not. Okay, that's that one. Working seems to be 40 regular dudes. So I guess craftsmen just make it work faster. Seems to be uh seems to be functioning. Alright. Well that's uh that's something at least. So I guess I can build Additional kilns, huh? I don't have enough wood. There we go. Now they're going to have more dudes come in to work in these. Oh, so this is going to scale a whole lot more, isn't it? Drying yard. It has to be connected physically? Does it really... I guess it does. All right. Well, that's interesting to have to be physically connected to something. Uh, so I wonder if I actually need all this. Probably don't. So is that bricks? Is that cumulative bricks? Because that seems kind of easy to just make 300 bricks. Assuming this can, you know, actually do what it needs to do. I guess it is cumulative. All right. Okay. Oh, there it is. Transport bricks per day. I figured that was going to be a thing sooner or later. You know, we haven't checked to see what kind of path the brick train is taking. It's probably something pretty insane. This isn't producing enough bricks per day. Okay. Okay. But this seems like it's completely uh, completely full. So we got 80 total. Okay, now they're now they're hauling bricks out. All right, we need to have. Oh yeah, we really need to have some signals here. Yeah, I'd forgotten we hadn't really made any blocks up here yet. So I should probably just have all of these, yeah, you know, all of these at the same spot just to make it easier. Make sure we have the correct stuff here. Yep, all right, that's looking better. Making progress, making progress. Okay. 
So now it wants a... Oh, that's how you get cattle. Population of craftsmen. So now I can upgrade to a town hall. Huh. So what does that do? Does that allow me to build craftsman houses? Or is that something I can just already build? Nope, doesn't seem like it. All right. Um, can I just drop this on top of it? Or is it its own... Why would it not let me just do that? Or am I going to have to delete this and start over? That would be something, wouldn't it? So I feel like I should be able to... I should be able to do that unless it just isn't going to let me. Well, I don't have enough cut stone anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, we solved a couple problems. Still haven't fixed the whole potato thing, but... I don't know what the deal is with the uh, potato consumption isn't high enough, maybe. If we check here... Yeah, they just, they want so many more potatoes than they have. Do I dare, do I dare make another potato train? Oh, let's go to Kingstown 1. No wonder. All right, we need one to go to Kingstown 2. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, no, now we got more trains. I still can't back up, which is insane. Okay, so this one goes 35 kilometers an hour. This one goes 50. Okay. All right. Has more braking power. It has less braking power, really. Huh. Well, I don't think we need that quite yet anyway. Oh, now I got ST30 wagons. Yep. All right. Um, potatoes. I guess we'll just have another uh, another potato run here. See if it likes us doing this. All right, I gotta put in some more some more signals. Probably doesn't have all those sitting there. And the potatoes per minute number is not going up. So maybe we do have to have, uh, maybe we do have to have more, more potato farming going on. And I kind of would like to avoid that if at all possible. What is that? What is that up arrow? Is that going to give me an... Ah, I can just click to upgrade it. Okay. Okay. As soon as I have cut stone, it's going to let me do that. So if I just spam click this. Aha! There we go. The town of Kingstown is now actually a town. So now what does this let me do? What is this? Diesel? F oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me I can make diesel trains now. Uh, okay, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Because we have to have, I believe, to get to that. Uh, smelters, no... So do they do they make diesel out of wheat? Like where, where's the where's the other stuff the oil I could be pumping out? Like I know there has to be oil somewhere. There has to be. So how how are they gonna how are they gonna do this? That's coal. Well, at any rate, craftsmen. I think I can only build a now. Yes. 
So they require bread, meat, and cheese. So that's going to require dairy. Oh, this is a nightmare. This that's going to be an entire new, uh, entire new mess. Can't make a cattle ranch until we get five hundred craftsmen. So we can have craftsmen. We just can't have, just can't have them be happy. Oh, look at this mess here. Huh. Oh, these houses actually aren't in range of anything. All right. Um, can I can I upgrade these? Oh, I can. Haha. -ha. I can upgrade some of these to craftsman residences. All right, so this is just like Anno. Kind of. All right, bring me the bread. You can turn dolphin, dolphin like the fish, mammal, whatever it is. Biodiesel or diesel fuel? I mean, all right, I guess. <laughs> That just seems so wild to me. All right, so within range of Kingstown 1, we're going to want some within range of Kingstown 2 also. For sure here. So these guys aren't going to have any jobs unless they take the train to the other... Uh, the other part of town over here, and then they take a transfer to the brickworks. Which they currently are not doing. Alright. Don't blame them. It's not going to be really any reason to uh, transfer here. Dolphins have too much mercury, so might as well put it in a train. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't particularly... Uh, know too much about that. Now they're not the craftsmen aren't gonna want to take a train somewhere else. That's gonna be a problem. Huh. Looks like these guys seem fine without having uh extra jobs. So I don't know where they uh Stuck with them unless they're working somewhere over here. No, don't really know. So maybe the solution is I have to upgrade this to a town as well, which I can't until it has enough resources. That would be convenient. Aha. So now this is a town. Now I can upgrade. Oh, they're mad because they can't go to church. All right, well, let's build you one. All right, so now some of these I can upgrade to craftsmen. Except now they're going to complain about not having... Uh, not having other stuff. What are we even importing here? We're kind of not. But the brickworks now should have craftsmen coming in. Hopefully. Whenever the next train comes by. Well, I thought I would have craftsmen come in. Do they not take the same train? Are they are they too good for these people? All right. Oh, this is oh this train's not big enough. It needs additional cars. Does it really? That just seems insane. Oh no, that's the tourist train. Never mind. That's, this is the one. This is the one we want. So they're not taking. Oh, is it, is it really going to make me have a, a separate train for craftsmen? Because that would be some garbage. That would be absolute trash. All right. I need to... I need to edit this route. Clay worker, swap worker. No, okay, good. There's only one. Only one. So now why? 
Why is this not... First of all, why does it not have... Oh. This is also the wrong train. Alright, I, I keep looking at the wrong trains like three different times. This really should have uh, should have coal. I don't know why there's none over here. Okay, what are you? Okay, so this train should be loading up craftsmen, but it won't do it. Why? That doesn't make any sense. So I guess this isn't... Um, it's not long enough? For the, that can't possibly be not long enough. seems very uh very strange the brickworks is supposed to have craftsmen and i've got tons of them so why are they not coming in here why are they like this It's like they just won't, uh, they won't go do anything. They don't have clothes. They don't have bread. That was the other thing we were going to do, is have, uh, have different goods brought over here. So they need clothes, they need bread. And nothing, no, they can't get anything else. So I guess we have to have another route going between Kingstown and Bishkek. That's not going to be swapping workers. It's going to be loading. Or what I say? Clothes. Uh, can I can I add something else to this? Okay. All right. Time passed. Unload until done or time passed. Let's call this goods transfer. And I don't think there's anything that has to go between the two towns from Bishkek, so we'll leave that alone. All right. Uh, express train? Express train. So this has to go... Uh, potatoes. Oh, they can both go in the box wagon. All right. So I guess we'll just have that... Have that do this. Can this actually go fast enough? I guess it can. So we'll just... Uh, See how that works, but I don't know why we don't have, why we don't have coal. Or is that because I took away, t <laughs> is that because I took away too many workers to go uh, do other stuff? I guess I just need to have this go elsewhere here. Water tower, ah, oh, the craftsmen have to have their own water tower. How bougie is that? How bougie is that? You gotta have your own water tower. Man. That is some, uh... Yeah. You fill in the blank there. Oh, really? Oh, I have to have steel? Are you serious? Alright. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to very quickly become irritated with this. All right, where's my where's my other train that I was uh, express training through here? Has that even made one lap yet? No, I don't think so. Where is the other train? Is this the fast one? No. No, that's also not it. That's also not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not the fast train. It's just taking potatoes. Where is the fast train? 
That's what I want to know. Here it is. It's out of gas. But it doesn't have any coal because we don't have any coal because we don't have any... Ugh. These guys aren't working. Why? Is it just we don't have any dudes? Like, what's up? Are they just not dropping guys off here? Because that's got a bunch of... Uh... Yep, that's coming this way. But it's bypassing, so this is dropping off. But there's nobody on here. Empty train. Why? Why is it empty? Is it just not enough guys? I guess that's what it is. Just not enough dudes. They're going to cry about noise pollution, probably. Mm, I did not do myself any favors uh, building, building in this spot, did I? All right, where's the, uh, where's the church? And they don't have jobs, but they should. You know, that's, that's complaining about water and not having a church, all right. So that solves that problem. So what is this complaining about? Not having coal? Okay, now we have guys working here again. That should help. Should help. Except now this is all clogged. Why? They should be going to the other tracks if these are full. That's kind of what the whole deal is. Ah, because this is a chain signal. That needs to be a regular signal. That's why. I think. Now I kind of wish I had another track to bypass all this, but kind of built myself into a corner. And now they don't have any workers. Or they don't have enough workers. But it's completely full of clay, so what's the, uh, what's the hold up here? These guys are working. Craftsmen still aren't working, which I don't understand why that's even possible. Signals. I need to have other uh, other blocks put in here, clearly. Well, I thought we already did that. Yeah, that's actually looking okay. This can't keep up with what? I swear they, sh they need to have what it needs on this thing. Um, wood again, really? Again with the wood. All right. Oh, this is full. We just can't, can't move the wood fast enough. I think it's the problem. Well, we have to have the iron mine to make steel. I know the iron mine and the, the steel foundry or whatever, when that shows up, is going to have to be a separate station, and that's going to need coal and iron ore. Oh, man. All right. That's going to be too much for right now. It's already been at this two and a half hours. Seems like it's not going not gonna to get better anytime soon. I want to know where these craftsmen are working, though, if they're not working at the places that actually hire craftsmen. They're not. They're just here. All right, that's 
fine, I guess. Ah, <sighs> well, we did build this down here. Got this other kind of trunk line up and going. It's not pretty, but it does kind of mostly a little bit work. Can't really call that a waste, although I, I wish this did work a little better. All things considered, though, decent, uh, decent amount of stuff done. So I'm going to head out, take care of the rest of my stuff for my uh, Sunday night. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening or morning, wherever it is uh, that you are watching from. Or if you're watching on VOD, appreciate you being here. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you on uh, Tuesday for the next Timberborn episode. Timberborn Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hopefully I can do Ostra Friday. And then uh, next weekend, uh, live stream might be slightly adjusted. We'll see. I got other stuff I got to do. But uh, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. We'll see you later.